What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com um, Back with another SketchUp tutorial for you today um, Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, using SketchUp styling options to make your model look different So um, basically what, this, what that means is SketchUp has a whole bunch of tools built in that actually help you change the way that your model looks the other thing you can do with styles is you can come in here and select different styles to make your model look different. So for like presentations or whatever, you may want your model to look a little bit different. So if you go down here to this drop down, um, SketchUp usually starts with default styles checked, but you can come in here and there's a whole bunch of different styles. Um, that can change the way that this looks. So usually I go to the assorted styles because that contains the ones that really affect the way that your model looks. So, and just as an example, if I come in here and I'm going to pick this brush strokes on canvas, as you can see, what that does is it takes your model and makes it look completely different. It makes it look a lot more like somebody came in here and hand drew all your lines and everything else and the way that's the way that it's doing that is it's coming in here and it's changing the way that your lines look using the stroke option um, it's changing it's uh, projecting a watermark over top like a canvas overlay over top of your model as you can see this is kinda rough so it's overlaying your view so that it looks like it's on canvas and then it's changing the way that it renders the lines and the points and everything else in here. As you can see, it just completely changes the way your model looks, but it, it makes it look more uh, more hand-drawn, more fancy, um, which can be really cool. You can do some really cool stuff with this. Um, there's a few other options in here. You know, there's like a chipboard option. There's um, some pencil options. So just, just kind of making everything look a little, a little sketchier, a little more like you came in here and drew everything by hand, which is a great style. And the cool thing about this um, is that you can adjust your angles and stuff like that, and it'll adjust with you. So, but as you can see, it takes a second to apply all that stuff. So if you rotate in here, you can see how these lines go straight for a second. And then you give it a second, then it'll load all the different line styles in here. So it does take a little bit longer to load this stuff. And again, with big models, it can really take a while to move around. So depending on what you're presenting and how you're presenting it, you may want to pre-print your options instead of flying around in here. Um, it just kind of depends on what you're doing. But in any case, it, it's just a real quick, easy way to take your model and just make it look a little bit more artistic. You, see this one kind of it, it builds an edge around your model and then it overlays like a like a drawing paper watermark turns everything black and white um, so there's just multiple cool options in here that you can really quickly change the way that your model looks make it look really kind of professional and kinda of like everything was hand drawn so I'm not gonna get too in-depth getting into the different options and stuff like that right now um, this is just kind of a quick overview of changing the way that your model looks as you can see there's a lot of different options there's an option back in here where you can change uh, the color that things are selected are change the color of things that are locked you can change the way all of these different things look um, so all of those options are in here there's options to mess with your background and stuff like that there's options to mess with your uh, your textures so you can take things to a black and white you can take them to more of a general type texture um, stuff like that so there's a lot of different options in here but the last thing I want to talk about is using scenes and styles so um, basically what that means is when you set a scene it'll save uh, one of the options that you can use is to select um, save your style as a part of the scene so um, to create scenes you just uh, you set up a certain view and then you go in here to view animation and you just click add scene and what that's gonna do is it's gonna save the current view that you have um, in here as a scene and then what you can do is you can um, open up the animation or the scene manager over here so I'm just going to put that into one 
tray. So the scene manager is where you manage your different scenes, obviously. Um, but one of the one of the options that you can select is style and fog. And as long as this box is checked, what that means is your SketchUp is going to save your SketchUp is going to save your your uh, style options as a part of your scene. So you can set up several different scenes with several different style options and um, come in here and just switch between them real quick. So that way you're not dealing with, you know, digging around in the styles option and trying to find one that you like and all that. So you can set one up and you can rename these as well. So maybe I could set one up and call it modeling. You know, you can set up a second one and call it chipboard. You can set up another one and call it black and white. So that way you can easily and quickly switch back and forth between your different scene options um, so that you can save this stuff and you can real quickly go from working in your model to uh, your different views and stuff like that and this will save your view information as well and I'll do another video um, more about setting up animations and stuff like that but this is a real quick easy way to save your different scenes um, this is a real powerful way to make your models look really professional um, without having to get too in-depth of the way it works, without having to be a Photoshop expert and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you're looking for more SketchUp tutorials and stuff like that, um, make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm coming out with new content all the time. In addition, uh, make sure you check out the SketchUpEssentials.com. Um, where I've got more SketchUp resources and tutorials and stuff like that. And finally, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, that'll really help me out. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much.